I have, I have, I have, okay. I have one channel that's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and record, and here we are, episode 27. <laughs> 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 Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry to catch no, you, Malik. No, good. Yeah, so here we are, episode 27. I have Malik Whitmore. <laughs> Thank up, you guys? for coming. A no little, little rough, uh, I guess, starting with before you even got here, and then when <laughs> you got here, so it just kind of rolled down here from that yeah, point. Yeah, I was, I was lost, lost in a forest. <laughs> trees nah so we had some issues getting the episode started thank you everybody for welcome welcome everybody to trip tristan shop talk and here we today we have malik whitmore and we also have co-host ahmad day yeah, <laughs> yeah just <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm here yeah i don't know what, okay just keep introducing us everybody knows who i am malik whitmore the one and only. <laughs> nah, so I can kind of throw the intro. The intro is just that Malik Whitmore, um, I started training at Paradigm, I guess, under Coach G. And then fast forward, next thing you know, Coach G's telling me to go to the, you know, go. On, this is on sparring on Fridays. And that's how I got to know Malik. <laughs> uh, Malik uh, would... Well, no, because I would have to go to work on Sundays. So usually on Sundays, I would I would be kind of limping because I would get those uh, leg kicks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I try to tell them all the time, man. You got to teach these guys how to check kicks because if you allow me to do it, I'm just going to keep doing it. So know? that was my introduction to Malik. <laughs> and then I always, I always knew about – we always knew about Malik in our class on uh, on sparring on Friday. So – yeah, and then I mean, but even during that time, I think I was starting up the episode, so I had always wanted to uh, get to know Malik and see where you know what got him started and everything. What, what got him started in MMA, and actually, because I mean, sometimes I would uh, see some of you guys, and y'all would be pretty hardcore. Because I know you would be doing more like sometimes I would see you at Paradigm, and then uh, at the times I would see you, you'd be uh, doing, I guess, uh, Coach G would have you kind of do the combos mm -hmm. and then you would be the pretty much the person the uh, I could, what, would man, what would that be called i don't even know the the test dummy i don't, I don't know yeah <laughs> yeah i mean I, I mean i don't know you would make it look easy but obviously you know he would tell you do the combos and you'd be there usually on wednesdays or whatever and then uh, yeah it would be wednesdays and then sparring on fr on fridays and then Saturdays you would be there, mm -hmm. and then from there, um, I noticed you were also in the MMA class. So yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah. So I know you've been now, now. And then how old are you now? Uh, I'll be 27 next month. Yeah. So how long have you been training in MMA or pretty much martial arts? Training in general, um, I'd want to say, shit, uh, six years, I think. I lose track. I think about six years, yeah. So you started in high school? After high school. Well, after high school. I'd want to say like two years after I graduated high school, two, three years after I graduated high school. Yeah. And then was there like any initial before that, like you were athletic in, in high school? Or? Yeah, I mean, I always played I played sports when I was like a younger kid, like little, little kid. When I was in high school, I was in band, so I didn't really. And then born and raised in Houston, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep, all, all 27 years. Well, what high school did you go to? I went to Sharpstown. Sharpstown. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Sharpstown. Sharpstown's kind of rough. It, it, it was. Like, what? once I got there. It's Asian now, isn't it? Nah, it's Hispanic. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, like, it, it's, I guess back in, like, the mid-2000s, like, early. Like yeah. When it was, like, oh, like, the Sharpstown, like, it was bad. But when I got there, I was there from 2011 to 2015. There were still white people in Sharpstown when we were in high school. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, see, there was only, like... <laughs> None. There was, like, a handful of them. I always just knew it was just, like, bad part, you know? Sharpstown? It's not... It, it's, a, <laughs> like, once I got there, like, yeah, we had our kids who were bad. Yeah. We had, a, like, some kid got stabbed. Well, I mean, it, <laughs> like, was, it, it was, like, there was Bel Air, and then there was Sharpstown, which was, like, not too far away, which was yeah, down, yeah, down yeah, Bissonette. Yeah, we then, had a... Uh, we had a race ride one time. That was funny. I think we heard about that, or I don't know, or maybe I maybe I read it in the no, paper. I never heard about that. We no. had a race ride. The race ride. <laughs> we, 
it just started one day during lunch and like these Hispanic kids started punching this black kid and then the black kids started beating up the Hispanic kids and then there was just like a fights over happening over here, fights happening upstairs, fights happening like just it was just riots Everywhere. around the, yeah, and then teachers were getting dropped. What well, year was know. this? Oh man. Maybe twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen. Okay. Yeah, like even teachers are getting dropped, and it, it, it's not that bad. It's a bunch of fake ass gang members and hard kids and fake ass cholos. Yeah. So where'd you grow up, though? Uh, uh, southwest side of Houston. But in Sharpstown, like what neighborhood you grow up in? Um, because that's interesting. I grew up more so in a Stafford area. Stafford area. Okay. Yeah, because I went to Stafford from second grade all the way up to high school and then i got kicked out of stafford for skipping class on the first day of school <laughs> so so my mom took me out the well, first day kicked. they kick you out or well, they suspended my you mom you? withdrew me from the school gotcha and then put me at sharpstown because i had an aunt that worked there already so she's mm. like uh hit this will work somebody's like, gonna watch over you. yeah yeah like yeah. this will work so it, okay I guess it kept me out of trouble. I still got in trouble, but okay. But you say only like youth sports. But did you have any interest in like boxing or like what? Uh, no, you didn't. No, so it all happened by accident. So you went from musician. You went from okay. What instrument did you play? I played trumpet for. You played trumpet. And I did, didn't even play percussion. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, like I got into fighting by accident. This was not something I ever wanted to. Were do you at serious all. about music at any point? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I was, I was pretty good at it, and um, it, I just stopped at playing after high school. You know, mm -hmm. you, you graduate high school. What, in, what instrument? Trumpet. The trumpet, yeah. Yeah, I played trumpet for twelve years. Wow. 10, twelve years. I played it for a minute. Yeah. I wow, that's a, a long minute. time. Yeah. So all through school, basically, you played the trumpet. Yeah, I played it for a minute. Actually, not twelve years. Probably like eight. Okay. Something That's still like a that. long time. So yeah, then after like high school, you just put it down completely. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of, you know, you kind of. It was college or military. You know okay. How that goes. So, right. So uh, you went to college? For like a semester. And I literally, <laughs> I literally was sitting in the middle of class and then like sitting there thinking, it's like, I don't want to do this. Really? And I, I fucking folded up my binder in the middle of him lecturing and just walked out and never went back. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then I hid it from my mom for a minute because I was still at home at the time. Yeah. So I would just like wake up like I had to go to to class and just like go mess off time somewhere and <laughs> until I had to go to work later in the day. I did that for like like two three months I think, just like fucking hiding it. Well, it's like that episode Fresh Prince when Hillary quit UCLA. Yeah, you still got to go, like, make it look like you're, you're doing something with <laughs> Make it your look time. like you. So yeah. you were just gone during the I day like you were in class. I was just either sitting Showing back up like, somewhere, like, yeah. sitting at a park, yeah. crashing at a friend's house, like, just finding something yeah. to do with my just time. Just come back home like, whew. Yeah. Ah, he's professors. But then when, Shit's when she, crazy. When she found out, she was like, yeah, I figured it out after a while. Did she? <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> no, she yeah your parents ain't stupid. They know you. Yeah. You Nobody know you knows you better. I'm a father. You got any kids? No. Nah, okay, yeah. Kids. And 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 that's the thing that um, that you always uh, underestimate. Like, nobody, like, your parents saw it. They know you. And they did this. Like, they, they did the you. same stuff. They, they, they did the same stuff, yes. So but they know also, it. they know you and how you react to things. But yes, they are. Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. know you. So it's it's. Uh, they know when you're lying, like none of those things from when you were two years old and you knocked over her vase. Yeah, like, like I'm, I'm still, sure my mom knows all sorts eyes. of things that I did. That <laughs> you still she just the same never eyes. gave me an ask yeah, before. Yeah, so. yeah, right. Okay, okay. Uh, hold on, I'll give it back. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hogging the mic. <laughs> we're hogging the mic. Yeah, we we'll get to the first fight. We're still getting through no, the. No, um, I meant like his actual first fight. What do you mean, like a fist fight? Yeah. Like in school. Yeah. Never. never. See? I've yeah. never... No, that's the... And You've as never like, had a street fight. And as violent as my fights are and, like, how, like, fun they are and how good, like, people say they are watching it, like, I've never gotten to a fight in school, on the streets, at the... Like, at a bar, outside. Never. Over a parking space. Never. None of that. Never. Which is crazy. Okay. Which a lot of people think, we're like, oh, you must, like, be out there starting shit. It's like, no, nah, I've never been in, like... Normal confrontation of like another okay. regular. Okay, so you weren't civilian. one of those guys that got into it because I like to fight. So 
before. No, it was an cool. accident. I got into. I started training just, just cause like, oh, this looks cool. Okay. So I was like, oh, let me let me go get some information, and Would literally, I used to live right down the street from Paragon. Okay. Like literally within walking distance. So, I went got some information, and then I started training the next day with Cam. Cam taught me all of my first things that I knew. Um, and then just started the next morning at like. I want to say we started like six in the morning, five in the morning, like that next what, what day. Year, what year was this? I think nineteen, maybe. No, 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 way, way, way before, way that, maybe like twenty seventeen, eighteen. And it was a little bit after college, right? Like after, after yeah, after after, out, yeah, after that. It was like what? How long after college? Let's see, I left that first semester, so that'd be like November somewhere in there. It was still cold when I first started training. So maybe like right after that somewhere. So you were just trying to find something to do. Yeah. That's what it was. Well, no, not even that. I I, I started watching like UFC fights on like uh, on like YouTube and stuff. And I was okay. like, oh, this would be kind of cool. But you hadn't like, watched you know. that before. Nah, not really. You so 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 you went into you didn't have any heroes. You didn't watch any kickboxing or K one or any of that. Nah. Type of stuff. None of just that. was like, oh, this would be cool. What about like, the movie Kickboxer or like Bloodsport? Never Sport even. I've like actually that. never even seen Bloodsport. <laughs> You've never seen Bloodsport. Uh, I've yeah, never seen Bloodsport. That. But that's yeah, like but know, that's like a movie. Like even but, even but like movies that you I would like, imagine that's a movie that still has like those to be are, there's some like movies the Godfather that like, came out in nineteen seventy two, but you but, we still but I've saw seen it. The Godfather. Yeah. Yeah, like I, there's those list of movies that I don't care how old you are, you have to watch these movies, you know. What about over the top? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, over the yeah. <laughs> over the top was one of our things. That, that's that, that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's an no, '80s baby thing. No, 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 that's a that's an arm wrestling movie starring Sylvester Stallone. It's about arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I probably would never. Yeah, he go. Movie. No, you'd love it. I no, promise. No. You're a man. You'd love it. About arm wrestling? Yeah, man. It's about a guy <laughs> driving a. Hey, man. It's about a guy driving a semi truck with his son, reuniting with his son, keeping his son away from the evil mother. Oh, so this is like a real manly oh, movie. Cool. Oh, she was dying. You're right. You're oh, right. I just, yeah, and I just call all. Yeah. Say you're divorced without saying you're divorced. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm sorry. She was dying. I do remember. Yes. Anyway, so he's uniting with his son. They're driving a big rig, and they're just stopping and arm wrestling like every, you know, 70 miles. That sounds like What's a crazy What's there to plot. not love? Yeah, man. That's a, that's an int- I don't know how you keep that movie going. <laughs> oh, dude. That sounds like a hard movie to write. Okay, okay, check this. We need to do a show. Okay? We have Malik and some other young men of your ilk, and they watch over the top, and they give us 50 like bucks a movie. if they don't love it. Mean, we give them fifty bucks if they don't love it. Yeah. I guarantee you're gonna love it. The child in you is gonna we love it. We do like a like a movie pod. Yeah, like a movie man. Cast, just like yeah, commentating man. through the movie. Just commentate through over the top. I would love to see a twenty seven year old person having seen over the top of their first time. Because no, I was like what seven? Yeah. From age seven to like thirteen, you like watch the hell out of that movie. Eight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. And then like in the summer, like we had VHS tapes and you just. Y'all want to watch Over the Top? That happened in every household. Nah, yeah. I watched that. <laughs> but but, it, but it, was a, it was along that a whole genre of, of like oh, kar- yeah. Karate Kid kind of 80s kind of yeah, time see, where yeah, like, yeah, you know, they were trying to motivate yeah. us. Like, so just like, like men. But just like how you saw UFC and you're like, fuck, I guess I'll just do some UFC shit, you know, or I'll get in the gym and start training. To us, it was like, yeah, like Be a over, over the top. Oh, shit, Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yeah, now he's a trucker. Oh, yeah. he's an American. Oh, now he's going across yeah, everybody's America. Everybody's arm wrestling. Yeah, arm wrestling. Like, yeah, right? and then we're and everybody gets in trouble at school for arm wrestling. Like <laughs> we're all arm wrestling in school now. Oh, so it's like one of those teach you how to be a man type of movies. Yeah, and yeah, then like yeah. I said, it's yeah. just the testosterone. Like everything <laughs> about it is wonderful. There's there's big rigs. There's arm wrestling. There's dudes doing curls. There's a father son story. Yeah, it's a there's manly a dying movie. mother. It's just. Everything. That's the, one the, way to the, make a the, man. The, the, 80, the, mo- the motivating the eighties music that you have like ah, motivating you yeah. through the movie. Like and then like ah. in the morning he wakes up with his dad and then like his dad makes him like go out in front of the truck, do some workouts in the morning, do some push ups. Yeah, yeah. Makes you know Workout and then for us that for, for us that were like not there, we were all just like um I guess believing, Oh yeah, man, we can do that, you know, with our dad. So uh, I guess it's just 
I was basing it off what he had said, like no, with no, the whole I UFC got, thing. No, no, I got yeah, but even like, because a lot of people got inspired by like movies like that. Like kickboxing was huge here when because you're young too. You weren't there when like Don the Dragon Wilson and all those dudes were doing like kickboxer and American kickboxer. Yeah, yeah. And kickboxer was Jean Claude Van Damme. Remember, like he. Okay, so every movie Jean Claude Van Damme has a Belgian accent and he has a brother yeah. from like Ohio. But like, isn't his accent fake? Thing, huh? Isn't his accent fake? No, no, he's really from Belgium. Oh. But they made him play like an American in every movie. But he, it's the he stupidest thing had, in the world. He still has the accent. Yeah, his name's <laughs> Dave Brown. So this is Dave Brown. This is my With brother. And his brother's like, accent. and his brother's like, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna get hurt. He's like, I saw the guy. He's very dangerous. No, I saw him kicking. Even another movie uh, the, that's ridiculous during that time was uh, Street Fighter. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, no, no, but, but, but it was the, the accent was the issue, too, because he was playing an American or some type of an American with that crazy-ass accent. Yeah. He could barely speak English. I've seen the Warriors. In Bloodsport, he's in the Air Force. <laughs> he's in the United States Air Force. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's bad. <laughs> no, 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 it's terrible. Jean but it's Claude bad, but it makes it, like, that much better. Dude, it, it's so bad, it's good. It's like a good, bad movie. Like in Kickboxer. In Kickboxer, that was the first time we saw, because uh, he went to Thailand, like, his brother was like an ISK kickboxer, right? Like mm. an ISK style, the long pants kickboxing type champion. Oh, ew. Okay, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. no leg kicks, just ew. kicking and boxing. Yeah. That's how it used to be, you know? Yeah, kind of like, like a pancreas type thing. Right, pancreas. and for us, it was uh, Saget yeah. was the one who introduced all of us to actual Muay Thai. Saget from Street Fighter? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's how we, and we're like, that shit. I played is, Street Fighter as a kid. Yeah, that shit is cool as shit. Like, his shorts are dope. I mean, the way he's got his ankles spatted up and taped is crazy. So we all like that look. But then that, that movie Kickboxer came out. We're like, because we were used to ISK kickboxing. They used to come on ESPN too late night. Mm. Okay. So you always had the ISK kickboxing. Sometimes they had the the gloves on the feet. Okay. Yeah, so like we didn't bass li- rooting type. Right, right, right. Thing. So we, uh, what? Okay, well, Boz rooting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're getting to Boz rooting because that was... um. You talking about pain Christ. Yes. Yeah, now that Cause was because they had the pad. And, yes, they had and the pad. Like only but, but, but open but, strikes and shit. Right, right, right. That's like the rules of professional wrestling if they were real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what pain Christ is. Ah, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm That's basically about, what man. it was. Remember, like if the Undertaker was like really a fighter. Yes, because like, remember in pro wrestling you can't hit with a clinched fist. Yeah, yeah. But they do it anyway, and the yeah, referee. Yeah, but it's just like counts. a very. Yeah, the referee. Very, counts, hey man, don't do it anymore. Yeah. And you do it. And everybody's just punching. Yeah. Anyway. So, yes. So, we didn't know. And it was that movie, Kickboxer, where, okay, so he was the American kickboxing champion. So, he goes to Bangkok to fight the Muay Thai champion. And no one knew anything about Muay Thai. So, Jean-Claude Van Damme sees the guy he's fighting um, shin-kicking a pillar <laughs> in the locker room. It's a concrete pillar. He's knocking dust off the pillar. He's, he's shaking the entire arena, kicking this pillar. And he's like, you cannot fight him. Anyway, it, it was the first time we saw leg kicks and all that type of stuff. I love okay, leg like you grew up on leg kicks. Yeah, I love leg we kicks. We had no idea about leg oh, kicks or yeah, shins or any of that type <laughs> of stuff until we saw that movie. Or, or even that you could wear like basketball shorts and fight in them. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what Muay Thai. And, and now people wear Muay Thai shorts like for style. Like yeah, like I'll, 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 I'll wear them like to the grocery store. Like I don't <laughs> exactly, care. Like, exactly. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, like okay, so you had no background in any of this. I did Taekwondo as a kid for, like, Everybody a did couple, that for yeah, a like few weeks. Yeah, like, you were forced to do that. Like that's that's <laughs> a part were. of growing yeah. up. You got to yeah. do karate or Taekwondo right, for, like, right, right, right. a couple yeah. months. Right. But other than that, nah. I just okay. went in, and then I I, uh, I was training for a couple months, and then they, they had a smoker. So they were like, hey, man, you want to do a smoker? And I was like, oh, I guess. So I did that, won that. And then trained again. Um, another one came up, did that. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of good at this. And then I got pretty good pretty quickly within like a short amount of time. So I was like, oh, fuck it. I, and, guess, and w- I guess I'll do this. And when, what weight was this? Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. Probably like 60-something, maybe 70. I don't know. Because right, right now, what are you fighting at right now? One forty five. One forty five. Yeah. So you damn, you fluctuate from one eighty down to one forty five. 
I walk around about like 170. Yeah. Oh, this fight is fucking terrible. terrible. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah this fight sucks. But no, but so, okay. I walk around about 65 to 70. Okay, so how long does it take you to get down to 145? I can get there like a month. A month? A month and a half. Because see, that's crazy, like the cutting weight. Because you, you're a pretty lean young man. <laughs> if I do say so myself, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't carry much. That it's looks all like my legs. such a very natural weight. Like that's like a perfect weight. How how do you what are you losing to get down to one forty five? It's mostly in my legs. I carry a lot of weight in my like legs. Mm-hmm. I think um, uh, yeah. upper upper <laughs> upper body. I don't I don't get very big. I might get a little like pudgy, a little bit like wider. Okay. But I don't get like. Like, my face doesn't get fat. Like, I don't just gain a bunch of weight. And I have a really high metabolism. So, okay. I eat. I have the worst diet ever. Do you? I, yeah, I just had. What I eat at Frank's? Uh, Frank's Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I did three. Pizza rolls. I had four slices of pizza. Okay. And a Philly cheesesteak. Wow. Like, just be- and some fries. Like, just like because. Your tr- like, your- like, just because. Yeah. Like, just on a fucking Sunday like that's just what I eat. Yeah, it's like if you're training <laughs> you know? for strong man. Yeah, like so like <laughs> and I but I just don't gain weight. Like I don't really? keep it. The only thing that really makes me keep weight is peanut butter jelly sandwiches. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. That gets me. Yeah. That gets me. Okay. 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 So yeah, no I, background. I, I, no. So you had no like you didn't have anybody who you idolized like there was nobody <sighs> coming up. I mean other than like the regular people that you know like Anderson Silva at that time uh Right, but you were kind of new to Anderson Silva because you had to go back and watch those on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, because it wasn't yeah. like you watched Anderson Silva from the beginning. Yeah, so career. you, you see those like people. And, um, but that's, and that's then, because Anderson I mean, Silva is fucking pretty badass. Yeah. yeah. But like Overeem and Badr Hari and those like those Muay Thai guys, yeah, like no. those K1 guys. I'm just getting into Muay Thai guys now. Really? Okay, okay. Yeah, like cause okay. there's so many of them, I don't even know. Right. All of them. So yeah. your style, like, what's your primary style? Because I, I know nothing. Uh, stand up. I rather just so, stand okay. up and just bang it out. Okay. So yeah. you stand up and bang it out. So is it Muay Thai style or? Yeah, more of okay. a, more a lot a lot of kicks. No, a lot of okay. Kicks. So a lot of leg kicks. High, any high kicks or anything like that? Like. Um. Oh yeah, he'll do. Yeah. He'll, he'll, yeah. Try, he'll try to hit your head. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know from experience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, it's just what, whatever you give me, I will take it. Okay. So if I know that you can't check kicks, I will kick you to death. Okay. So MMA is going to be your primary thing. Like you're yeah. not going to go yeah, into yeah, yeah. any kind. Of, but but what about like kickboxing competitions and things? I'd like? be down for it if I can't. If I can't, uh, I'd rather do Muay Thai because you can elbow. It's a little bit more right. violent yeah. than uh, <laughs> than uh, kickboxing. Right. And there's no clinch in kickboxing. Um. But in Muay Thai, you can clinch. You can clinch. Yeah, yeah it's just like boxing. You kind of get together. You got like three seconds to throw a couple strikes, and they break you up. And then they break you up, yeah. Um, Muay Thai, I'm pretty comfortable in the clinch there. Uh-huh. So oh, yeah. I like the elbows. I yeah, like the elbows. Yeah, this like, this is such a bad fight. Watch, we could watch it right now. <laughs> yeah, we can. Okay, I've, actually, it, I've actually never watched this video. Really? Yeah, because it was just. So what year was this? Oh, 2020, yeah. Uh, okay, so this is an amateur fight. Yeah. And I just wouldn't... The problem with this fight was I just would not let it go. Hey, you helped him with his little... Yeah, I'm pretty nice <laughs> in the fight. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm just not letting... I'm waiting too long in this fight. But you see how his... You know, yeah. So can yeah. we throw knees here? Okay, yep. there you go, knees. Any knees to the head Actually, here? Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Can we throw knees to the head here? Yeah. Well, okay. What made you think it was bad, though? After I, after I knew I was losing, because I knew I was losing throughout the whole fight. Oh, so you uh, lost this fight? Yeah, I lost this fight. This is, the, this is my first fight that I've lost. I just wasn't as active as I should have been. Like, I'm waiting too much. I'm waiting for him to go, then I'll go. And I'm just... It's actually I actually don't look as bad as I thought I did. Right. Because I in my head I just got fucking I mean, you're, you're dog walked no, this entire fight. Does anybody do the classic Muay Thai stance anymore, or does everybody? Nah, get it's kind of you got to Everybody has their different now. stance. Uh huh. It's just kind of like. Because uh, that was another thing we thought was so cool was that like. Yeah. That nah. Stance. It. I mean, it's. 
And then, and then who's, in your, who's in your corner here? Uh, who is in my corner? Jacob there and Paul is there. My guys. Shout out to those guys. I love you guys. Yeah, shout out to those guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like my back is against the road. Good I'm biblical just, name. I'm just fellas. not. Just, just being too nice. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just being way you too think nice. So you're just being too courteous. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not letting my hands go. I just. Yeah, I'm and eating then, a lot of stupid shots that then, I shouldn't have eaten. And then this was 145, right? I don't know what this weight was. Nah, I think this is like 165. So you think you could have been more active here, huh? Just a little bit more mean, just a little bit. Like, in, in, in the fight, like, I can't respect you. I can't care about you. I can't care about your mom, your right. family being there. Like, you know, it's afterwards we can be cool. Right. But in these 10 minutes, uh, you're trying to take everything, you know? Yeah, 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 So yeah. I have to treat you as such. Yeah, that's it's a that's weird what Jacob is saying though. during this moment. He's like, yo, you got to go. I remember that's what him your trainer saying, is like, telling you? Yeah, I can remember I remember him telling him, like, you got to go. You got to let your hands go. Right. And I just, I don't know. It was my first, like, real fight. So, like, I guess it was just, they just wouldn't. <laughs> you could want to do something so bad. Uh-huh. And in a fight, your body just won't do it. Really? It's so weird. And, you, and like, I, I've been training. I trained hard for this. I know what to do. It's just your your body won't do it. It's so it's odd. It's yeah. very weird thing. You know, my quarterback in high school, my junior year, for three weeks he couldn't call the snap count. Yeah, like it's so just the fullback had to call the snap count. <laughs> <laughs> for three weeks. Like right in the middle of the season. So Yeah, see like I'm just it's waiting. some sort of psychological thing, huh? Yeah, and there's no way he and he wasn't better than me. No. Like no. Like, if I fought him now, I'd fuck him up. Yeah. But I don't know if he's still fighting. I actually like that guy. He was pretty cool after that, after this uh, fight. So, like, show me some spots where you think you could have been more active. Like, like right here. Like, just exactly. wait. I'm just okay. waiting too long. Yeah. You're not. I'm just waiting, waiting. I'm not answering everything. Right. So, now you prefer to, um, your style is more aggressive, right? Yeah, I'm a lot more aggressive now. Okay. If, if, if you have my other fights, my last two, oh, that hurt him. No, we not a counter puncher, you. Uh, see, that's where I, I, I'd rather be a counter puncher, but I have to stop doing that because it gets me hit a lot, which I don't mind. Firing. All that yeah. firing gets you hit a lot. No, we're just, just trying to wait to, to be a counter puncher. I get hit in the nuts every single fight. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah. Every single fight I've had, I've gotten hit in the nuts at least twice. You think it maybe it's your stance or your? I don't know, it, but it's happened every single. I don't fight. know how you can avoid it though. I think also I don't like think really this one landed it. that clean. I think I was just a little tired, honestly. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. I mil- I milked it out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I milked it out a bit. No, I, I, I was do, tired. I do, I do be thinking about that in the yeah, UFC yeah. too. So when they're like, they're like, I'm like, dude, I, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like that shit in basketball. You don't know if they're really fucking. No, I mean, true. you see that in boxing. I'm not saying. I mean, you're still getting kicked in the nuts, but. No, but you I mean, see you that still need so. Where a guy's got his shorts pulled way up here, he gets hit there, and then damn, he, t- I milked he the has fuck to out take his, his 90 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I milked that so bad. That is so terrible. That's no, that's bad gamesmanship acting. because the clock stops. Like the round's not going. Yeah. Right? So you get that round time, you get time to breathe. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, oh, you got his nice. ass. But see, I got to fire right back after that. That, right. I got to go. And I'm not. Yeah, that'd be a totally different fight if we fought now. Yeah, for me, though, when you throw the legs in it, man, that makes it... I'd be pretty timid to throw anything, too. Because the kicking... The kicking really just adds a completely different element. Yeah. Well, are we supposed to turn off the AC? Is it going to pick up? Uh, it's fine. Oh, okay. I, I forgot I about that. A little bit, but it'd be hot as hell. But okay. nah, this was a great lesson because I got elbowed a couple times. Like I got, I I got familiar with what it feels like to get like hit hard and like. Right, 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 right. So was that not like a surprise that he actually came out and hit you? You think? Nah, that I wasn't surprised. I was more maybe surprised, as, like, because you don't really know that you're able to like take these type of things. Yeah, I know. Until you get hit and you're like, oh, I'm not a bitch. Okay, okay. I can do this. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, I'm not I'm not soft. Like, yeah, you got to get hit Because everybody's like, yeah, I'll, I'll go fight. Like, I'll do this, I'll do that. But right. until you actually get punched in the face. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's that like, famous Mike Tyson quote. Like until you get punched in the face for real, and you're like, oh, I'm I'm not a bitch. Like I can right. do this. That's right. why I have this I have this crazy law like theory that I wish was a law. For like every person should get punched in the face really hard, no, unexpectedly. No. Yeah. But like you could just be walking in the the cereal aisle and somebody right. just come up and just deck you. Yeah, you learn a lot about just yourself. Just so you know. Like, don't be an asshole. Shit can happen yeah. to you. No, you learn a lot about can, yourself in that moment, too. there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, you, know? you learn a lot about yourself in that moment, too, when you do get, when somebody does unload Yeah, you like, you see what you're made of. You, you you do. It's definitely an important, <laughs> it's definitely an important skill to have. But it's like, you know that Mike Tyson quote where he said, everybody's got a, everybody's got a game plan until they get so hit they in get the hit, nose. Yeah. And getting hit in the nose is a motherfucker, too. It sucks. I think that's probably the worst. I get my nose is all just... Destroyed. Has it been broken? Not that I know of, Not but it's definitely been smashed. Yeah. Yeah, I get hit in the nose a lot. Oh, look, there goes a couple checks. So what about um, any kind of jujitsu, any kind of grappling? Do you? Uh, uh, I do. Uh, probably not enough as much as I should, but I, I'm... Um, yeah, I do. So, so what do you think of this? Because this is what I always thought I would do. Because I did do a little bit of boxing training as a young boy. Um, not trying to say I did Sorry. anything crazy. <laughs> but I do understand a bit about boxing. And I always said, like, I, okay, because I came up, uh, I remember when Dan Henderson, when he fought, not Dan Henderson, that was. Um, no, you probably talking about Dan Hendo. No, 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 no. I'm talking about when James Tony fought. Who did James Tony fight? Oh, uh, Randy Couture. Randy Couture. Yeah, Randy. So my whole thing and things like that with like a stand-up fighter and a guy who can wrestle. Yeah, that's not gonna go good for Tony. It, it, what? No, it's not because he didn't train obviously and didn't take it. it he could have trained for a year for that fight. He still would have got. He still would have got ragdolled. He, he may okay. Because okay. Randy's like a lifelong grappler. He like, is. He is. But this is my theory. Like, I I didn't think that he should have. Like whatever camp, whatever training he did. There should have been probably very little striking. Yeah, no striking at all. In that, because you already know you can do that. Yeah. I think it just should have been just takedown defense. 100%. Like, you just do 100% takedown defense. Like, I'm not. Because you want to keep the fight up on your feet. Yeah, and it's more fun. Like, right. Like, if I. If we. If I. If we fight. And. Let's say I get beat on the feet, I get knocked out. Okay. Right. I'm cool with that. Right. I'll take that on the chin. Respect to you. Don't hold me down for fucking 15 minutes yeah. and think that you, like, oh, I won. It's like, that's, that's boring. Right, right, right. <laughs> you right, know? Right. Like, that's not, that's, I mean, I know I get it's fighting, but like, like if you're going to hold me down, like, finish me. Like, put right. me out. You know? Don't just like sit on top of me and do these little yeah well i think it's it's less a part of the game than it was at one point right like there's more stand-up fighters from what i mean because okay because nah, there's one a point, lot of grapplers either out there because remember um what was his name what was the first guy was it maurice green maurice who was uh he wound up winning the ufc championship from mark oh Coleman. shogun okay. no, no, no 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 i'm talking about way back the black Maurice, uh, oh, Marie. Um, I know you're talking about. Remember when he won because he beat um, it's a big black dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he black, beat uh, uh, no, no, man. I'm talking about <laughs> way back early days of <laughs> UFC, and I think it was Mark Coleman. I think he was the, like the first black champion. Yeah, I think he was too. Yeah, first black American champion. Ah, uh, damn, what's his name? Because I think he fought Mar. He fought uh Coleman. Uh, Mark Coleman was his name, right? The like. I think it was Coleman. Yeah, I remember who you're guy, talking like, about. That's when they were doing headbutts. Yeah, because Coleman came up in that time when he was just a big burly, he roided would, like, out wrestler. He would, he would and he would pin you on the ground. Just yeah, he would. You. He would like <laughs> double tie both your arms yeah. and just be fucking and just headbutt, headbutt you. you, bro. Yeah. Just like crown of his head, just yeah, putting you to another dimension. It's Mark Coleman, man. Yeah, but um, yeah, but uh, the black guy, I for, I gotta look up his name. I he was, was so the, pissed um, after this fight. I was so mad. He was an actual kickboxer, and what he did was he uh, his guard was like that one. In that fight. This is a funny fight. <laughs> so backstory of this fight. In the middle, well, no, but, but 
This one would you had to leave Houston, right? Or this was Fury. Nah, this is Delta. This is in Louisiana. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is the ones where I trip out on you guys because y'all would fucking go out of state. Dude, I, I go cut over there, man. I cut, I cut. They would leave out of state to go over here. Uh, yeah, me and me and Paul. And no, this, no, this, I'm, this, still, this, amateur. I'm promo, still amateur now. And this promo is still pretty promotion. Yeah, I like I love good, them. Right? Yeah. Uh, shout out to Delta and Kylie. I love y'all. They're y'all doing okay. great promotion. They always treat me well. They always take care of everything. They take care of my mom really great too. Good. Because she always comes out to the fights. Um. Okay, how does she... How does she feel about it? Yeah, how does she react to any of she this? She is a couple shots of vodka deep every time I fight. She has to be, she right? She has to be, yeah. She didn't, like, she didn't like it at first. Yeah. But, um... How do you break it to her when you start going and you say, I'm actually going to pursue this? How did that conversation go? I don't remember. I, she was just like... Because, like, I'm an adult now. You can't tell me no. Well, like, no, of course. Yeah, so like you're not gonna be like, no, you can't do that. Like, fuck out. She's you know? gonna voice it. Yeah, she's just like, I don't like it, but you know, I'll support you. You know, so she came to all my like smokers and stuff, and she's great. She's been very supportive of it. Okay, good. Um, yeah, we can actually you can actually fast forward it like a tad bit. What about uh, okay, okay? So, are there any detractors in the family at all? You have siblings. I have a sister. She's like super supportive of it too. Okay, sister, so she's not scared yeah. for you. She's super supportive. Okay. Yeah, you, I think during one of, the, I think the next fight, you can hear, uh, you can hear her screaming. <laughs> okay. In the fucking crowd. Yeah. But yeah, there's a part in this fight where I'm like kneeing him against the cage, and I get like a whiff of his hair, and it smells really good because he has dreads too. So in the middle of me kneeing this kid, I like asked him, I was like, yo, what do you wash your hair with? Because like, that shit smells <laughs> really good. <laughs> and then he, I never got the answer. And I tried to find him after the fight to like meet his family and stuff. But I couldn't, I couldn't find him. I got dropped this fight, actually. That was good. That was really cool. Because that's that moment where you realize, oh, I'm not a bitch. Like, I could do this. You know? Yeah, once when you I get got back dropped, up, huh? Yeah, I ate a mean uppercut. He kept throwing them, and I just walked right into one of them. It's so weird watching myself fight. Maurice Smith. Maurice Smith. That's what it was, yeah. But see, yeah, like you can, you can see the difference in me between this fight and the last one that we just watched. I'm way more aggressive. Like, I'm not taking any steps back. Like I'm a totally different fighter in this in this uh fight. And, and so uh, like on this one, this one I forgot what year was this one again? This was last year. Last year, right? Last uh January. This is where Lake Charles. Uh Monroe. Monroe. Okay. Monroe, Louisiana? Yeah. yeah. There's a such an amazing sushi spot out there. Yeah. That I go to every time cuz when I had to cut weight, I had messed up. And I made the weight the night before, but I ended up taking too many like little capfuls of water just yeah. to like satisfy myself a little bit and went over the weight. So I had to go, oh, is this when I get uppercutted? Oh, no, it's not. Um, I had to end up going back to the Paradigm in the morning and cutting a little bit more weight. Wow. And then me and Paul jumped in my car and drove six hours and I'm dehydrated. I can't, my eyes are blurry. I can't see anything. Damn, dude. Yeah, like halfway through. Oh, I got a cover cut here. Ooh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And a head snap back and everything. That was crazy. So what, what do you think you messed up there with? Like, Just I mean, jumping I mean, in there with my hands. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Because I think you kind of got squared up, didn't you? A little bit. Yeah. I don't remember getting dropped. Yeah. Like, I had no idea it happened until after the fight. Wow. Because, uh... Um, the adrenaline, and I'm guessing, right? And you're just no. It's just when you get hit like that and you get dropped. It's just like somebody turns on the turns off the light, like flicker the lights. Like it's just like quick little reboot, quick little like system reboot, until you get like put out for for like for real, for real. Um, yeah, I I don't remember that happening until Bob told me in the back. And then also, I I had always been meaning to ask. So, what what belt are you right now in jujitsu? Right now, oh, I'm gonna forever be a white belt. Oh, really? Because I don't train in the gi. I would never yeah. put... I, I, I refuse to put on the gi. I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, I feel I'm just not doing it. Why not? It's just... I'm just not. You know? Uh-huh. So I have no interest in... I do think it's a... It's a... 
It's cool. It's res- I respect the art, but I'm just not. Yeah, it's pretty corny to me. <laughs> See, yeah, like <laughs> I'm not gonna be taking pictures with my fucking. You yeah, know, like, yeah, I'm just not. yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially since it's Brazilian, like it's not even from the east. So I know it's based off of it in a sense, because Japanese jujitsu is quite a bit different, right? Yeah, I th- I think it is. Yeah, I've yeah, actually never yeah, even is. looked at Japanese. You've never, jiu-jitsu. yeah, yeah. I've seen so it. It's more like no judo. Like jujitsu is more like but, judo. But 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 the idea is just to grab more of a like. Yeah. Like well, yeah. I mean, you use the gi. Remember, Hoyce Gracie used to use like the gi and choke the man out with his gi. Like, yeah, you can would, do that. In, you can yeah. do that in in gi. You, yeah. Yeah, like imagine you get into a fight at the bar and like the motherfucker <laughs> uses your hoodie. Uses to like your members only your jacket. Neck and yeah, to fuck you like, up. Yeah. And you wake up and you're all your clothes and you're not bleeding or anything. Yeah, like you're what not happens? Like, like what happened? He choked you out with that jacket. He's like, yo, fool. Now you gotta go home yeah. and like when you want to go out again, it's like I'm not wearing that fucking yeah. jacket. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 So you can never wear that jacket yeah, with like, confidence. He took again. that polo jacket of yours and, and he choked, choked you, you out with it. And where's this guy from? Is he from Louisiana or what? That's a great question. I think he is actually. Okay. Yeah, everybody that I fought was from Louisiana. I mean, this looks like so. There's pro fights on this card too, huh? Yeah, it's an it's a hybrid. Yeah. I could go pro now, but it, I just being patient and taking the right steps. Oh, he kicked my shin. I know that hurt. I saw. So that. what's the benefit towards staying amateur now? Just being patient. Make sure you feel. Just taking the right steps. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to rush it and then start your pro career like zero and two. Then you gotta yeah. win like you gotta win like five. <laughs> you gotta win. What did I do? Uh, you were like good ones, and then I get you were like yeah okay. Uh yeah. I like to have fun when I'm when I'm. But you see, see how high his fucking legs is. Yeah, yeah. I like <laughs> to have I like to have yeah. fun. They ain't gotta be all serious. Well, I mean, yeah, because it is a. Sp- I mean, even though it's fighting, but but it is like, a let's sport. Let's have fun. But it is a sport, yeah. I can not land not that like goddamn kick. You were trying to get that head. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to snap his chin in the air. Yeah. Plus, you don't have just like a a history of like angry fighting because you say you 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 yeah, you're not nah, one of those guys never, who just man. fought because nah. to survive or nothing like that. Nah, never. Yeah. So you could have more fun with it. Ooh, I ate that. So See, right here is one forty five. This is one fifty five. One fifty five, okay. And then the next one is at one fifty, and then I'm going to one forty five after this. Well, next okay. one. So what are your plans as far as turning pro? Like, how long do you, um, how long do you think? I, I I know we had that discussion be before pro, we went on air about planning. Of, about end of next year for sure. End of next year. Yeah. So how many um, more amateur fights you'd like to get under your uh, belt before you? As uh, long as Bob, I'm doing everything based off of Bob's uh, wishes, and if he wants me to do five more amateurs, I'll do five. Okay. Um, because he's he's been doing this since, shit, since the nineties. So, so that was what I was going to also ask about Coach Perez. So Ooh. how does he do? I mean, he has a lot of guys. Yeah, I, mean, of I, guys. I, mean, I mean, I'm sure there's a line of guys going out the door like, hey, hey. Like, I want to fight. I mean, no, it is. I mean, because he's, he's, he's so centralized in Houston, Main Street, boxing, and Muay Thai right now. I mean, dude, I see y'all on Instagram. And like like we were talking about last time, Jacob was saying there's like 50 guys y'all have in there. Or fifty. Yeah, our sparring 50 days. Students. Our sparring days. There is not space to take three steps back. Like you have to like, it's it's yeah, it's a it's packed. So I mean, they're killing it. I mean, yeah, I mean, now, Main Street, Main Street's killing it, right? Yeah, I stopped him with knees. Oh damn! Yeah, oh, no, we, I missed. We missed that. Well, Y'all were only on the mat for like a couple minutes. Not even that. Well, yeah, he took me down. Yeah, he did. Well, no, he, well, no, he, 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 when he, he knocked pulled you me down. onto him. Okay. And then, um, yeah, I got him in a clinch. And I, I'll show you the exact moment I asked him about his hair. <laughs> I don't know if he remembers this. I wonder if he even heard me. He was cool, though. He was a really cool kid. I didn't get to talk to him. Now, the guy that I fought after him, me and him are super cool now. I mm. love that guy. I I uh my knee got dislocated in that one, and we were supposed to run it back. But I was the like, next eh. fight? yeah, I was like, man, I like him a lot. I don't think I want to fight him anymore. Like, we just kind of have that one. Mm. I I mean, 
mean, y'all are almost identical in a way. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm saying like. Yeah, we I, all look I, alike, Danny. No, you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, like height. I mean, y'all are like, you know, same frame. Well, yeah, I mean, there's. Yeah, here comes yeah, the man. knees. Like, it's Boom. the purpose of weight classes. Miss that one. Yeah. Boom. That's another knee. Yeah, okay. He can't defend himself at this point, right? That's when yeah, I cut okay. him. Okay. And then right there. And is this he tapping is where the I ask him. Oh, he's trying to. You ask him right there? Yeah, like, what's, right up in here. What's in your hair? He's like, the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> 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 what the fuck is wrong yeah. with this guy? Like, I'm trying to. Hey, um, and then he starts you? holding my glove right here. And I was looking at the glove ref, and he's like, he's holding my fucking glove. And I boom, more knees. He ate a lot of fucking knees. Yeah, he did. He ate Jesus. a shitload of knees. He just wouldn't go down. Shout out to that kid. Yeah. yeah. That's a good referee, though. He could have stopped got, it a little earlier. He could have stopped it earlier, he but... Should, uh, he probably should have stopped it a little bit earlier. He, 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 he should have, but the guy looked like he was still defending himself, in a yeah, sense. Yeah, a little bit. No, you're right. You know? So, um... Yeah. No, but but that's what I meant as in the same. Like, it, it was almost like, like, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, he was, what was his record before you, though? Do you know? 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, one. Okay. Yeah, I cut his eye with But word knees. up, though. Like, seriously, going back to the ref, he's better than some refs I've seen in bigger promotions. <laughs> like, yeah. why did he was you a stop cool that? Kid. You're going to let this man die. I felt bad. Yeah, no, I, I really did. I understand that. Uh, yeah. So I'll tell you why I felt bad. Okay. I so during one of my smokers, I fought this black guy, actually with dreads too, very similar. We're actually pretty cool now. Mm -hmm. And I hit him pretty good, and I had him like kind of like stumbling around, like he was like on chicken leg. And so they stopped it, and I was, um. I was uh, like celebrating. I was happy, but then I looked out into like the paradigm crowd, and like I saw like some people like that were like kind of fucked up, like kind of sad, and I think they were his people, and I think it was a lady. I don't know if it was his mom or not or who it was, but I was like, damn, that made me feel bad. So now whenever I like fuck somebody up, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like, damn, your mom's watching this. Like, you know, oh like, yeah, like your you're, family's yeah. watching. Yeah, this. you're like, empathizing nobody, with nobody, him. Yeah. yeah, nobody wants to watch your fucking son get nobody. Yeah, put yeah, out. he's like, got a mom just like you who's sitting up, in there man. just watching him get kneed so in after, the temple. After this fight, I tried to like I was running around looking for his family, right? Like for his like mom or dad or whoever came to see him, just right? To, like apologize and right. you know just kind of like. Hey guys, like he's good. Like I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it's the but game. But I couldn't find him. I couldn't find him at all. Yeah, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's yeah, what you want to tell him. Let me ask you this: as far as like the rules on uh, how it's dictated about being a um, uh, an amateur, and I know that there, you know, amateur means is you're not getting a purse. Yeah, you're not drug tested. Oh, that's what it means. What that about too. a purse though? You um, can't get a purse, right? You're not getting. What kind because of compensation do you have? Tested. Okay, okay. Yeah, you don't get the purse because you're not getting drug because tested. Because you're not getting drug tested. Okay. I think that I might be talking to my ass, but I think that's why. Okay, so um, what are the rules as far as how they, like, what um, they can take care of you with? No, is there, like, food per diem? Is that kind of a thing that they take like care of? Like, when I go out to fight there, right. she gives me, like, a travel bonus. Like, okay. she gives me, like, a couple hundred bucks just for, like, my like my, my travel out there. Okay. Um... Um, I would make money off of like ticket sales or something. Really? Because like my mom always buys like a table and they're like okay. eight hundred bucks, thousand bucks. Or something so it's like not that. amateur in the true sense. Yeah, I get, I make some money off of it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And this there's is no the rules funniest part. Them. The whole fucking gym just comes out and yeah, walks I out behind that. me. It's dope. just like Jesus Christ. And I'm like, all right, there's too many of y'all. I just gotta like. <laughs> but this guy's already fought tonight. He hadn't even changed. Yeah, he fought. He fought that night too. He hadn't even taken a shower yet. Uh, that was Jacob, right? No, that's uh Chris Markham. Oh. He, I don't think he's fighting anymore. I think he became like a police officer now. Ah, okay. And um, yeah. One fifty. Yeah, this is at one fifty. I, um, this fight was so challenging because that kid was tough. Hey, so this is the same Main Street gym. Does Oshaki Foster fight out of Main uh -huh. Street? Yeah. He just fought. Yeah, I see Shock all the time. Do you? Okay. Yeah, he's a cool dude. I interviewed Shock's him before. super cool. I love Shock. Yeah, yeah. Orange, Texas boy. Country boy. Yeah, Lou Savarese. Yeah, yeah, Shock's there. Regis. Uh, is that Trouble? Austin yeah. Trout. Austin he, Trout just Raphael fought. Raphael uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, trouble. Tr- uh, yeah, yeah, you, Austin Trout cool just too? fought uh, Diego Sanchez like earlier this year. Fuck up, Diego Sanchez. Okay. Yeah. I mean, bare knuckle, too. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Trout fought Canelo. Yeah. Like years ago. Yeah. I think he fought. I don't know if he fought one of the Charlos. I think he did, though. I think. Yeah, y'all got a nice little camp down there. We we have it's one of the yeah. best kept secrets. Yeah, like yeah, I've Texas. interviewed uh, Igbokwe too a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, trouble's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I used to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cover those uh, next fight up. Uh, yeah, trouble's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Now he's a guy who got into fighting because he was getting the bar fights. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, that we, makes sense. Yeah, we got his whole story. Yeah, we got his whole story. That makes a lot of show. sense. Yeah, no, he was like, yeah, he was like, I was fighting, I was fighting in bar fights, and he said he first went and tried MMA, but really, the guy kicked, yeah, but a guy kicked him, and he's like, nah, fuck this. Yeah, <laughs> and then he was like, we have some of the boxers that are like come and do like our class, <laughs> yeah. and then like, like, how do I defend that leg kick? I was like, you're too heavy on that boxer stance. You'll never, you'll, you'll never, never be able to defend that leg kick. Yeah, yeah. Um, Stan. Yeah, Stan. Yeah, Stan. I know he does every now and then. Yeah, I've I've yeah. I've done uh, kickboxing sparring I think with him like once or twice. So, so last time, um, when I did used to spar you, man, like, dude, yeah, dude, your leg kicks and then just your cardio. So, I like, I always have that question for every fighter that comes here. Um, what's your cardio? Like what, nothing. What's your, nothing? <laughs> Fuck no. I mean, you I do. I mean, you have, but you have to do some cardio. I no? just train. No. I mean, I, I mean, no, no. But I, I know you train a lot, though. So I know. So that's like typically. Yeah. I feel like the best. The best. Um, I feel like the best cardio is what you're actually going to be doing. Mm-hmm. Um, because like I know where I can rest. I know where I can take breaks. I know where I have to like scramble, push. You know. Yeah. Um. I just. I don't know. No, I mean, you, you, I mean, but yeah, like, I but run, like though. he was saying earlier, you're, you're, man, you flip, like, you know, you're 170, you know, you fluctuate, right? 160, 170. So, I mean, your ideal weight to be, I think, just have natural good cardio. Yeah, I, f- I train best <coughs> when I'm in like the low 60s. Okay, so you don't take any creed in that because I remember that was a, that was a big um, criticism of uh, Deontay Wilder was that he didn't do road work. Yeah, um, I don't run. I haven't ran. That he biked. So he biked. That was his cardio. That. That'd be cool. I'd be yeah. down to bike. I just don't want to carry on a bike everywhere. I think they said Connor does, like McGregor, right? That's McGregor his cardio too, right? He doesn't he doesn't do road work. Like yeah. a lot of running. But then I you got guys like Mayweather and certain people that just do that old school, you got to run One, 10 8 miles. miles. Yeah. yeah, like I ran s- 4 miles for the first time like a month ago. That was the first time I had ran in like a year or two. Any right. trouble? Huh? Any trouble or not really? My hips hurt, but I wasn't like yeah, tired. Yeah. See, but and, and see, I feel you with that too because that running, especially that road work, that running on concrete, I would think hurts. that that would really, yeah, just that eight, ten me. miles a day would really. I mean, I, I don't know. It, I I would say as a runner, I mean, I I mean, I'm 43. I still run, but I mean, even me running, yeah, it is bad on your knees, but. Yeah, I think this kid I think is I tough. No, like dude. Elijah. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely shout out to Elijah. I love Elijah. And, and where, where was Elijah from? Uh, Louis- from Monroe. Actually. Monroe too. Yeah, he's hometown. So I guess a lot of the okay. So a lot of you Main Street guys are going there to fight, and a lot of you are fighting the local, pretty much. Yeah, I guess both sides of the fight. Like, yeah. Really people. I've, I've, man, I've been itching to. I've been trying to find a fight for the last like three months. Just can't. What what's wrong? What, what's happening? It's just, mm, mm. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, but I mean, obviously, you're putting your name out there, and you're just like, hey, I want to fight, and they're just like, mm. yeah, okay, so yeah, I ain't gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm, I ain't yeah. gonna, yeah, no, 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 I'm gonna stay with there. Yeah. Just people not taking them. Yeah, no, 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 I feel, yeah. I, I already know what you said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, um, but I mean, obviously, you're still training, so that's all that matters. Yeah. So working, training. So we'll, damn, this is the first round still, right? Yeah, we're we we were from the go just going. You can see we slowed down a little bit. Yeah, he's some long ass legs. Kind of slender. He starts calf. My calf was fucked up for like three weeks, two weeks after this, dude. 
Damn, yeah, hit yeah, you yeah, again. Hit See, I told you. Yeah. Every fight. <laughs> I might have milked this one a little bit too. So your family, <laughs> so your your mom and your family is your mom like. Like, Actually, they're they, right there. Oh, really? That guy that's in that tracksuit, that Adidas tracksuit, that's my grandfather. Uh, okay. And the white next to the lady in the white like blouse. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, that's my <laughs> grandfather. <laughs> awesome. So yeah. they're they're they're. My mom's they're like on this other side right here, okay. but yeah, that's my grandfather. Awesome. And he hates it. that I fight. I'm surprised. Does he, he really? Can. He's the one that doesn't like it. He doesn't uh, like. Oh, he's the biggest yeah. detractor. Huh? Yeah, he he don't, wanna him. he don't want to watch him. He don't want to. He I tried to show him a video. He's like, uh, uh, I don't want to watch that shit. He'll want to go in there. huh? I'm surprised he came. I didn't really? Call him. I haven't spoken to him in a while. Let me call him. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, he yeah, he is a grandfather, so I know that's a casino. <laughs> yeah. So is that why he came? <laughs> Probably. He came, yeah, for the casino. <laughs> like, we're going to go watch uh, Malik fight. He's like, you know, I don't mess with that. It's a casino. It's like, oh, uh, okay. I love that, too, because that's just how, like, you got to earn that. Where you just get to just rock a track suit everywhere that comes with age. Yeah, he's real old school. Yeah, yeah. He's super old school, yeah. He's from Little Rock. Yeah, Little Rock. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. You got to earn that, man. Yeah, he, he's like real simple. He has like two little, like real small, like gold chains. Uh huh. Like real, like old school, like 70s type dude. Yeah, yeah. 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 He has one with like a little medallion. Yeah, ask on him it. about over the top. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He was like, yeah, I was the Friday it came out, I was there. <laughs> It was Sylvester Stallone. It was like Rocky, but arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah, my knee blows out in this fight. Oh, that's the one where you dislocate your knee. Uh -huh, but there was no ligament damage, though, right? Well, it's Perez still. I've always had an issue with this knee. It just pops out of place sometimes. It's so weird. What, what was Coach Perez pressing to you? I don't remember. Uh, probably to stay moving, jab more. Um... Probably stop being so front like heavy because he was calf kicking like this round. He really, yeah, that first one that hurt. Ooh. That first calf kick fucking hurt. And like, like it really stops everything. Like you can't, you can't move forward once they start calf kicking you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is when I do the yeah, crescent yeah. kick. <laughs> yeah, he has a uh, yeah. He he definitely that that tip. I just remember when you when, when I used to spar you, man. Like you definitely. Oh my do that. teeps. Yeah, oh. yeah. I love stabbing <laughs> people in the stomach. It makes you want to. Yeah, I would, makes oh. you want to throw up. No, but then I, I think I would take him. I would take him, and then uh, it would it would be definitely just along the lines of just like, Ugh, and then tightening up, Ugh, tightening up. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah, there's nothing more fun like teeping somebody, and they're just like. Ugh. <laughs> it's like that gives me a lot of satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I hit you and you make like a little like, Ugh, like that's really satisfying that's to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's music to your ears. Okay, so all right. Uh oh. So how long into it do you get? It's not gonna be nasty, right? It's not gonna be some. Uh, it's gonna make me throw up, right? When you. Oh my! No, <laughs> no, 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 no! He just kicks me, and I immediately fall and grab my leg. Okay. Because right. it just it, it what it does like the kneecap like like it'll just slide but it mm -hmm. goes back all the time. Okay. So everything's still intact. It's just I think something's weak in there and it just yeah. it just slides out but it goes back but it hurts and it gets really tight to where I can't bend my leg okay. for like a week. Because the worst thing I ever saw was in football. Um a dislocated elbow. Oh yeah, because then your arms are oh, like God. all like wobbly. Oh no, when you saw oh it was the worst. Yeah. Thing. And I saw a huge 265 pound man just ball like a baby. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. The worst sound I've ever heard in my life. And I was winning the fight up until this second round was pretty close, but I feel like I was winning the fight up until. No, I, I think you were. Um, I mean, yeah, that first round. Now, that's what I hate about it. I hate that like MMA shouldn't have the same scoring system as boxing to me. Um, and I, I hate boxing scoring system. I hate the mandatory nine, the, the 10, nine round. I think right here is when I get, oh no. What do you think about the scoring system? Cause it's not the scoring I think system. Even if it's you the don't judges. get knocked down. Well, yeah, the, the judges, yes, but I oh, think. Oh no, I'm definitely losing this like, round. Oh, That's yeah, when it yeah, happens. Yeah, okay. Uh, and but my I, issue I was. But like that first round you dominated. 
Mm-hmm. But they would still count that a 10 9. Yeah. Because. Damn, damn, Lulu. Sorry, man. No, oh, it wasn't that bad. It was cool. Yeah, they popped it back. The only in thing the place. would really happen. No, it pops. It goes back by itself. Okay. They just kind of like rubber bands, like out and then back. Um, Somewhere right here, I think. Yeah, it's about to pop off now. I mean. Ooh, oh, ooh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But as soon as you bent it, it went And. Down. My original plan was I felt it go. I grab my knee. I go down. I look up and I see him coming with the hammer fist. Mm-hmm. So I was gonna roll and just finish the fight in the opposite in southpaw. Yeah. Okay. Cause like I only got like another three and a half minutes. I can right. get through another three and a half minutes and just survive. Right. Maybe went on a jab or something like that. But right. I covered up because I saw him coming with the, um, the hammer fist coming down, and yeah. then the ref stopped it. Right. So I was like, "Fuck, I could have." Yeah, that was wise on. I could have finished that out. That was good on his part, though. Right? Yeah, no, Even no, he's a cool, anything. he's a really cool dude. I love that guy. He's really cool. We talk all the time. Okay. Actually. But that's so scary, though, because I mean, um, uh, Ke- it's, Ke- it's happened Ke- to me a Ke- lot. Ke- what, but no, but Kevin. Um, Gave me, you know, Kevin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I know you. You can definitely match Kevin. What, uh, it, big Kevin? What, yeah, Kevin. Uh, B, uh, the Marine Kevin uh, that goes to Paradigm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. With yeah. the baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least somebody can uh, put it because I know you could put it to him and Cam can put it to him. Oh yeah, I give him to him all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, no, no, but I've I've gotten that from from Kevin, man. I got hit right here, mm-hmm. and then the next thing you know, bloop, it was like within like we were sparring on Friday. On on Friday, mm-hmm. anyways, he hit me in the knee. It blew up, dude. It was like just a. I mean, I mean, I'm, all I'm saying, reference to that is just like when you get a lot of ki- kicks like that, man. It's yeah. just like, but no, very, it's, it's very just with like, my knee. It's oof. only a certain, like a certain point where it'll slide out it's not always going to slide out but it's just like if i have it angled right at this little thing it'll it'll it'll, yeah it'll slide out but it's i mean it hasn't bothered me since then because i i know i mean jacob because i was asking jacob about you and then jacob had said oh well no i know he's still kind of working or i guess ah the knee's been fine it's been great okay yeah okay what was really hurting me was my calf because he had calf kicked the shit out of me but it seemed like when he hit you, he hit you like right there. He like, hit me like a little below it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like right on the knee. Now on on that end, I mean, of course, like we all know, like during those fights, like anything can go down, anything can happen. But ideally, I know in training, you know, we're uh, we're told to hit right here. Yeah. Or if not, that hit the if low. If you hit never right hit the above knee. the knee, like right above the knee, there's a nerve, and if you hit that nerve, yeah, because you your saw whole you whole leg. Yeah, I saw you. You you went quick, dead. man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but I guess that's the art. I mean, that's the game, you know, right? Yeah. I mean, and then that just comes in a knee check, right? I mean. Yeah. I checked one of them, one of the calf kicks, but my knee wasn't even hurting. What isn't what was like really hurting was my calf. Yeah. Because it's such a small muscle. You get like I hit your calf with a baseball bat, which is basically a leg. Like I would do bare knuckle Muay Thai. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I would do a bare knuckle Muay Thai if they if we had like. Do they have that over here, or do you have to go to Thailand for that? Mm, mm, I don't know. I don't know where. I they mean, have since there's knuckle. a bare knuckle unless promotion, we do, unless though. we do like backyards instead of that. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be down for a backyard bo- Muay Thai fight. This would be a perfect <laughs> venue. Yeah, it would. Actually, yeah, you got a lot of space out there. <laughs> oh, no, that's from that barbecue and comedy. Well, we're talking about comedy and barbecue. Hey, one of you motherfuckers. No, comedy, no barbecue, comedy, and fighting. Or maybe just barbecue and knees. <laughs> yeah. So what do y'all bring y'all's asses up here? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> get, that probably needs to be get, the thing. Get elbowed. No, but you need to meet Paul and you need to meet Jacob. Okay. Yeah, that's the other. The, the, they're the trio. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd like, like to. We're the trio. Yeah, yeah we're okay, the trio. I, 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 would, I would say we're the trio. <laughs> yeah, okay. The trio. Yeah, we're the fucking and, trio. And, and see, I, I guess I can call out Paul a little bit. Because I've asked Paul, but, but I feel like if Malik... And Jacob come, then you'll come. So hopefully, you know, because ta- no, because I did hit up Paul right after he won. Uh huh. And I, like he I said, I, I, no, 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 I, I know that too. He's busy and all that. But like I said, I was still interested because, dude, he, he, like, yeah, he did his work. You know on that, that dude, dude that he slept was Hulk Hogan's. Uh, fuck. I think he's married into the 
No, nah, I think it was Hulk Hogan's grandson or nephew or some shit. Like oh that. wow! <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Because wasn't but that, that dude like was a dick? He, that he guy. submitted or he knocked no, him he out. Knocked him knocked him out. Yeah, 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 some like shit like that. Yeah. 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 yeah and that was like within the first round, right? I think it was first round. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Paul Paul's a teacher with him too. Hulk Hogan's nephew. That's what it is. Fight scene, man. Yeah, he got slapped. He's an asshole though. So is he? Yeah, he's kind of dick. Oh, no, no. Just glad you didn't that get that big boot in there. Uh, you met Asanya. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't train with Izzy, but no, I, I got to watch him train uh, when he fought Romero here. Me, yeah. Jacob, and the yeah. and Bob were at the gym, and we opened the gym late night for his team. And then... So uh, they had a little bit of privacy. Because, man, to, like, I always thought you were a pretty big dude, you know? No, when I stood next to Izzy yeah. in person, I was like, yo, he's... <laughs> Huge. <laughs> like he's big. Like I feel big, but watching him. But like even at two hundred, when I remember, like when even then, I know you were weighing at two hundred. I when was we were just kind of chunky. No, but I'm just saying you were still a big guy. But I'm just saying, and then when I I saw a picture of you and Iz- yeah, Izzy next to each other, like, yeah, I saw you, and then I was big. like, oh shit, he was just I'm like a one. few more inches. I'm six when Izzy's six four. Yeah, but for me to be six four and not look that big, right. he yeah, just looked like. The Slender Man just looked tall, but he's just like big. Yeah. Like he was hitting the pads, and I got to like talk to him a little bit, like pick his brain about certain things. And he was super fucking nice. Yeah. He's so, <laughs> he's so nice. Yeah. yeah so uh, we go downstairs to like grab them. Yeah. And uh, Bob was like, all right, don't be weird. <laughs> and I was like, okay, <laughs> I try not to. So I'm sitting at the desk, the front desk, and he walks in. Yeah. And he's such a, like, you would never know he's this rich-ass, like, millionaire, like, fighter. He yeah. just walks in. He's like, hi, my name's Israel. It's like, motherfucker, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody, you everybody knows who you are. <laughs> yeah. Especially coming in the Main Street. Yeah, like, I know who you are. <laughs> but he was, dude, he's so nice. His team, like, mopped up the, like, the area that they use after after they got done training. Like, he mopped up himself. Yeah. Like, he has to fight for a title and like, three days and he's yeah. over here mopping stuff he took time to like um when i when i asked him for the picture i was like fuck how am i gonna do this so after he got done i was like hey man can i be a groupie <laughs> for like three <laughs> seconds and can i get a picture and then if I <laughs> fucking melted my heart <laughs> he said hell yeah he's like you're not a groupie you're a fighter and i was like oh shit <laughs> i was like this is my childhood moment of like hell yeah dude. like Oh, he respects me. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, yeah, but he's super fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah, because I can only imagine. I mean, him and then you and then Strickland and then like just those guys, just Perrier. Yeah, like, so they're, they're like, just guys just me. Just, yeah, dude, there's a big dude, man. So imagine, like, if he's that big, Alex Pereira is fucking huge. Like, that's enormous. what I'm saying. Yeah, he's just like three, four, three more inches taller than him. It's just like. I think they're the same height. Are they? Yeah. I just always just felt. Perry was just he a might little be six bit five, like, but yeah. he's not that much taller. Yeah. Like an inch, inch and a half, but he's his body mass is just it's just big. And then Strickland too. Strickland, he's, he's, he's I like feel like Strickland might not be that big. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, he's just a solid white. He's dude, a solid white, 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 yeah, white yeah, yeah, like solid, yeah, country yeah, farm yeah. white boy, yeah, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. a solid, yeah, yeah, strong yeah. white kid. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, because I mean, obviously he knocked out Asanya, which I thought it was very surprising, but whatever. No, he didn't knock him out. Well, I mean, I no, mean, no, 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 he did. Oh, well, but he, well, he, I mean, he, he kind of stunned him. Uh, it, it, Strickland has such a weird style. It's like sparring with a beginner. Mm-hmm. When I spar with a beginner, I get hit a lot, mm-hmm. way more than I do than like somebody who's like like a Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I know if you do something, this is coming afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. if you do this, this is coming this way. This is going to come from this angle. This is going to come under here. With a beginner, they just do weird shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. hits you, and it pisses you off. Oh, yeah, I know. I, well, I know, because I've hit you a few times. And you yeah, you hit me with just, like, some <laughs> weird shit. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, you should have never like, okay. touched me. Boom, you boom, boom, never boom, touched boom. me with that. Like, it's so frustrating. So, <laughs> yeah. I think in that fight, um, Strickland was just awkward, because he has a Philly shell style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, like, weird. And he's so good defensively. Yeah. In his like awkwardness, so it's hard to like you don't have enough time to figure it out. So, but I think the second fight would be a lot different. So. Hopefully, if there's one. 
<laughs> yeah, he's just gonna take off some time and he'll be he'll be fine. No, nah, man, that dude was on a. I mean, that's what I was saying. You caught him on that one, like where he was already on that streak of fights off, five after fight after fight after fight. So I'll give that. Yeah, I'll we, give him that, when he know? came, he he was supposed to fight. He was fighting Yoel Romero in Houston. Yeah, that's why they came here. And then I had just fought. I want to say like two, three weeks before they got here. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm not missing this. I'm going. I'm going to the gym. <laughs> yeah. My car was messing up during that time. I used to drive my work truck to the gym just to meet them and shit. I was like, I'm the geek like the squad fu- truck. Hell yeah. The fucking Best Buy <laughs> geek, big ass geek squad on the side. I was like, I don't give a fuck if I get fired for this. I'm, I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. They were really cool, though. Nah. So I, I would definitely want to line up. Uh, yeah. Just, just go back and Paul and Jacob. That would be badass, man. And then uh, I'll have a mod here, and we'll have like a – yeah, that would be badass interview, all, all three of y'all at once. Yeah. And then we can go over some fights. We can even go over Paul's fight because we've already went over Jacob. We've already went over your fights, and now we go over Paul's fights. Yeah. That he's do down that. with it, and I know you'll kind of be able to pressure him. But then uh, uh, hopefully we can have him, and then, uh, yeah, so definitely we can plan that for next time. Yeah, let's do it. I'm down for that. Man. And then, man, y- y'all, you three are the more than welcome. Jacob, Paul, and you, because like I said, I've known you for a good while. Yeah. And like I said, man, I mean, now that you come here and you see where, you know, where it's at, mm-hmm. more than welcome to come back. Yeah. Um, Anytime you want me to come back, I'll come back and just come <laughs> chop it up. I don't, I don't yeah. be doing shit. And then, then like I said, I, I need to... <laughs> I need to get yeah. So my upgrade on equipment's coming coming into play. So and then that would definitely be where you know we have everything set up. Yeah, I know, I know. But all right, man. But <laughs> but not yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. We'll we're always trying. To, we're, we had uh, some difficulty getting started. Uh, <laughs> well, it's still a few hey, episodes in. I mean, I, I feel okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's getting there. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> Nobody knew that happened, so no, I know, yeah, I know, it's completely I know. professional. It happened no, organically. True. But now Malik, yeah. pre- actually, it never happened. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it never Thank happened. you. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck y'all are talking, talking about. It never happened. <laughs> so, so, hey man, sorry. You know <laughs> they don't know we're not on time. It's not live. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Me. See, that's why I like a co-host because it throws another angle on it. So. <laughs> nah, but I appreciate it, Malik. Thank you for coming no through, problem, man. And then uh, definitely, you know, mine. Thank you for being yeah, here, man, too, as no well. Bro. This was fun, man. I'm, I this hope you had a good time, bro. I, this is the first one I've yeah. actually done. I actually tried starting my own podcast, like, years ago. Yeah. And then I realized, like, yo, if I put this out, this is going to be really bad. I'm going to get a lot of angry messages. There was something else that popped up on here, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if that was you or not. But, uh, but yeah. what it did, Was it a... Three uh, videos? Oh, no. Oh, no. It said Malik I had a, I had a podcast called... Damn. Something... Something conversations, okay. a good conversation, some something weird. And it was but, just. But see, I, th- I think I'm getting on this whole thing of just bringing fighters in and then watching their fights and then critiquing it. Because like you said, you, you enjoyed that. I mean, yeah, that was I, 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 that first even, even Jacob, fight, even yeah. I never watched that fight. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was pretty like interesting. I thought, ago, but did you? But you when you had said at first, you're like, oh man, I was pretty bad. I was like, I don't know. You look like you. Pre- yeah. yeah, I just okay, wasn't. Rogan. <laughs> yeah, I just wasn't doing, I wasn't doing enough. <laughs> but all right, Mr. Whitmore, yeah, I appreciate man. it, bro, for coming through. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> thank you for completing this episode. And then, uh, yeah, man. So I guess we'll go ahead and end it there. All righty.